We've got the air gun technology Vulcan 2 from Pelpax on test this week. Most people will probably know the Vulcan as a very compact bullpup. This is the tactic version which is better described as a semi bullpup. It's a very serious piece of kit and it comes with the serious price tag of £1,249.99. The tactic variant is still pretty compact. It measures 89cm from end to end and, unscoped, tips the scales at a very manageable 3.2 kilos. Balance is very good and it's an extremely pointable air gun that feels great in the shoulder. The walnut stock looks very nice. It's got a fairly high gloss polish finish and a thumb hole configuration with an almost vertical pistol grip. The fore end is nice and long so there's plenty of room for your leading hand and it even incorporates an integral accessory rail. Length of pull is adjustable by adding or removing the plastic washers between the butt of the stock and the recoil pad. That recoil pad and the cheek piece are both height adjustable. That enables you to really tweak fit to ensure good alignment between eye and scope. There's no checkering or stippling on the stock, but I haven't noticed that it feels particularly slippery as a result. This air gun is made in the Czech Republic and the standard of engineering appears to be first class. I also really like the neat matte black anodized finish of the metalwork. It looks classy and low key and should also do a very good job of protecting it from the elements. The Vulcan has a Picatinny type scope rail. It's a configuration that seems to be growing in popularity in the UK and you'll need to bear it in mind when choosing scope mounts. That rail is nice and long, so it gives you plenty of options when it comes to scope mounting. The barrel is a cold hammer forged one from CZ, so it should certainly deliver in the accuracy stakes. It's housed inside a very chunky shroud, which looks good and also does a brilliant job of hushing down the muzzle report. Remove the end cap from the shroud and it's even threaded to accept an additional silencer. Not that I can really see that being necessary. Filling with air is very easy. Simply turn the collar at the front of the cylinder to expose the inlet and push in the supplied quick fill probe. A full 250 bar fill gives about 200 shots at around 11.3 foot pounds. Being regulated, it's extremely consistent and there's a pressure gauge at the front of the cylinder so you can keep an eye on your air reserves. The 177 calibre Vulcan 2 runs a 15 shot magazine and it comes supplied with two. Easy to load, it slots in from the left and feels incredibly slick in operation. It indexes very, very smoothly and I could barely notice any resistance at all when probing pellets into the breech. The cocking and loading mechanism is driven by a very positive side lever action. It feels great in operation and makes for very fast follow-up shots. The lever on the review gun is actually positioned on the left, but it is reversible. I wouldn't attempt to do it in the field, but it is a simple job that anyone should be able to do for themselves. I am very picky about triggers, and the one on the AT Vulcan is excellent. Quite possibly the best trigger unit that I've ever encountered on a bullpup or semi-bullpup air gun. I really like the flat face and gentle curve of the blade and the release is extremely predictable. The first stage is fairly short and light and the second stage breaks very crisply. The safety catch is too close to the trigger blade for my liking, but I suppose that does mean that you can use it without having to adjust your hold. You push it back into the safe position and then push it forwards when you're ready to shoot. Right, well that's a quick overview of the AT Vulcan 2 Tactics main features. Let's do some shooting with it.
Well, how about that for a five shot group at 30 meters? There's barely any breeze today, so I didn't have to worry about that. And it actually looked like the last couple of shots passed through exactly the same hole. Um, I could certainly do with the lever being on the opposite side, but it still felt nice and smooth to operate. And that trigger mechanism really is fantastic. I can see a lot of shooters wanting to use this air gun for hunting, and it certainly has the accuracy credentials to deliver in that department. I've been really impressed with the AT Vulcan 2 tactic. It's accurate and quiet, and its compact proportions mean that it handles really well. I can see it lending itself brilliantly to shooting in the confines of a hide. And I also think the high capacity of that 15 shot magazine is a really nice touch. If you're in the market for a compact PCP and your budget can stretch to this one, it should certainly be on your list.